Have you ever wondered how far human greed can go to satisfy its desires? Our journey begins in the wild, where a sinister act unfolds in the shadows. Animal poaching, a brutal manifestation of human greed, is a harsh reality that plagues our planet's diverse wildlife. Poachers, often driven by desperation or lured by quick financial gain, employ ruthless methods to hunt down their prey. Imagine the indiscriminate use of snares, devices so cruel that they leave their victims writhing in pain, their freedom stolen in an instant. These traps, often left in the open wilderness, do not discriminate. From the smallest rabbit to the majestic lion, any creature crossing its path faces a grim fate. But the brutality doesn't stop there. Poachers also resort to poisoning water sources, a method as insidious as it is deadly. A sip of water, a basic necessity for survival, becomes a death sentence for countless creatures. The agony of these animals, their lives cut short, is a chilling testament to the lengths some will go to satisfy their greed. And then there is trophy hunting, a practice that adds another layer of cruelty to this grim reality. Driven by a desire for exotic animal parts, trophy hunters target some of the most endangered species on our planet. From the magnificent elephants of Africa to the elusive tigers of Asia, no creature is safe from their sights. The joy they derive from such kills, the pride they take in their trophies, is a stark reminder of the dark side of human nature. The ruthlessness of these acts, the lack of empathy they reveal, is a chilling reminder of how far some are willing to go to satisfy their desires. It's a look into the abyss, a window into a world where life is reduced to a commodity, and cruelty is the currency. But as we delve deeper into this dark world, remember, knowledge is power. By shining a light on these brutal practices, we can begin to challenge them, to fight back, and to give a voice to those who cannot speak for themselves. The journey of a poached animal part is as complex as it is secretive. From the moment a creature's life is cruelly snuffed out in the wild, its body becomes a commodity, a pawn in a shadowy game that spans continents and cultures, exploiting both the innocent and the innocent alike. The elaborate networks used by traffickers to smuggle animal parts are as diverse as they are intricate. Picture a spider's web, spun on a global scale, its threads weaving through jungles and cities across borders and seas. Each thread is a route, a path that trafficked goods follow, often hidden within legal trade routes, making detection a game of needle in a haystack. These routes originate in places where biodiversity thrives and law enforcement struggles. From the dense forests of the Amazon to the vast savannas of Africa, from the remote jungles of Southeast Asia to the icy expanses of Siberia. These are the hunting grounds, where animals are slaughtered for their parts. But the journey doesn't end there. The animal parts are smuggled across continents, often concealed in ingenious ways to evade detection. They are transported by land, sea and air, often changing hands multiple times before reaching their final destination. And then there are the illegal trade hotspots, the hubs of this black market. These are places where the law turns a blind eye, where corruption and greed fuel the trade. Here animal parts are bought and sold with impunity, feeding a demand that seems insatiable. Ivory, tiger skins, rhino horns and countless other animal parts are traded openly, their true cost hidden beneath a veneer of wealth and status. The complexity of these illegal networks makes combating animal poaching a daunting task. Each thread in the web is a challenge, a hurdle to be overcome. But it's a fight that we must not shrink from, for the stakes are too high. The survival of our planet's biodiversity hangs in the balance, and it's a fight that we cannot afford to lose. Behind the closed doors of black markets, a grim trade unfolds. Here, in the dimly lit corners and hushed conversations, the demand for exotic animal parts fuels a ruthless industry. From ivory to rhino horns, tiger skins to pangolin scales, these products are bought and sold in a marketplace that thrives on secrecy and disregard for life. Let's delve into the dynamics of these illegal wildlife markets. Picture this, a clandestine auction where the highest bidder walks away with a piece of our planet's precious biodiversity. These transactions are not just about acquiring a unique item or a status symbol. 
They represent a blatant disregard for the brutal methods employed to obtain those items. The demand in these markets is driven by a myriad of factors. Some people seek these products for their perceived medicinal properties, while others see them as symbols of wealth and status. These misguided beliefs contribute to a high demand for animal parts. A demand that fuels the cycle of poaching and trafficking. But it's not just about the buyers. The sellers too play a significant role in this illicit trade. From poachers to middlemen, a whole network of individuals profit from the sale of these animal parts. It's a risky business, but with high demand and high profits, it's a risk many are willing to take. The problem doesn't stop there. Many consumers are often unaware of the devastating impact of their purchases. They don't realize that behind every piece of ivory or rhino horn, there is a story of suffering and loss. This lack of awareness exacerbates the problem, making it even more challenging to combat this illicit trade. The thriving black market for animal parts is a testament to our collective failure to protect our wildlife. It's a reminder that we must do more to educate people about the devastating consequences of this trade. Because every piece of ivory, every rhino horn, every tiger skin represents not just a loss of life, but a loss of our planet's precious biodiversity. The loss of one animal can trigger a cascade of destruction. Picture a finely tuned orchestra, where each instrument holds a unique role in creating a harmonious symphony. Our planet's ecosystems are no different, with each species playing its part in maintaining balance. But what happens when one of those essential players is abruptly removed? Animal poaching does just that, plucking key members from the symphony and leaving a void that echoes through the ecosystem. The sudden disappearance of a species, whether it's a predator at the top of the food chain or a humble herbivore, can have a profound impact. Consider the African elephant, a keystone species whose vast appetite shapes the landscape allowing for a diverse mix of other creatures to thrive. When poachers target these giants for their ivory, they are not just removing an individual, they are disrupting an entire ecosystem. Without these natural architects, the landscape can become overgrown, reducing habitats for smaller species and increasing the risk of destructive wildfires. The loss of elephants can also lead to an overabundance of certain plants, which may in turn attract invasive species that further disrupt the balance. Similarly, the removal of predators like tigers and wolves can lead to an explosion in the population of their prey. This can result in overgrazing, which damages vegetation and leads to soil erosion. The ripple effects continue, affecting other species and even altering the course of rivers. Disease, too, can spread more readily in the wake of poaching. With fewer predators to keep populations in check, Diseases can run rampant among overcrowded prey species, posing a threat to a wide range of animals and even humans. But perhaps the most devastating impact of all is the loss of biodiversity. Each species eradicated by poaching takes with it a unique set of genes, behaviors and roles within the ecosystem. This loss is irreversible, and its full impact may not be felt for generations. The ripple effects of poaching reach far beyond the individual animal, threatening the balance of entire ecosystems. In the face of this crisis, a global community is rising to the challenge. Around the world, governments, non-governmental organizations and dedicated individuals are taking a stand against animal poaching. They're fighting back with tireless determination, utilizing a range of strategies. From the high-tech to the hands-on, these efforts are as varied as they are vital. There are those who use advanced surveillance technology to monitor wildlife and detect poaching activities. Others focus on policy and legislation, pushing for stricter laws and harsher penalties for wildlife crimes. Then, there are the boots on the ground, those brave individuals who patrol our world's most vulnerable habitats, often risking their lives to protect our planet's precious creatures. They work in tandem with local communities, fostering understanding and respect for wildlife and empowering people to play an active role in conservation. But it's not just about defense, it's also about recovery. Rehabilitation centers and sanctuaries provide a safe haven for animals rescued from the clutches of poachers, helping them recover and, where possible, 
reintroducing them into the wild. These efforts are a beacon of hope in a challenging landscape. They remind us that while the problem is vast, so too is our potential for positive change. The fight against poaching is a testament to our capacity for compassion and our commitment to preserving our planet's biodiversity. As we conclude, remember that each of us has a part to play in this story. The power to change the narrative of animal poaching lies within us. By supporting conservation initiatives, we help provide much-needed resources to those on the front lines of this battle. By raising awareness, we shine a light on the shadows of this illicit trade. By actively participating in wildlife protection, we become guardians of our planet's biodiversity. By adding your voice to this cause, you can help ensure a future where wildlife thrives, not just survives.